Hey guys. Hello. Welcome to the tall and short of it. With I'm, Betsy and Jenny. Yes. Yes. And we just wanted to introduce ourselves, kind of um, tell you what we know or why we know what we know, what we've done. And why you should want to be part of this page because this is going to be super exciting. So um, how we're going to kind of start is we're going to like tell who we are and how and why we think we know so much about this topic, <laughs> of, about education issues, conversations, and then we'll tell you how you can be more involved, okay? Um, well, I have a dual um, license, sorry, a uh, dual license in um, from Ball State, and I have, I actually, my brain's not working, I have to look. Um, my experience is from, uh, I've worked with students um, with special needs um, from pre-K up to eighth grade. And um, I've done work with um, transitions from first steps to pre-K and worked in a resource setting. Um, now I'm in self-contained and um, I have done worked with students um, from mild all the way to students with um, intensive needs. So, did I get everything? Yeah, I think that, <laughs> except for saying that you're Betsy. Oh, <laughs> Betsy. I said it at the beginning, oh, I think. Well, I think I said Betsy and Jenny. Yeah, okay. Betsy. It's okay. This is how we, this is how we roll. Yeah. So, um, I'm Jenny, and I also am, have dual licensure in elementary education and special education from Ball State. Um, I also finished their master's program and added English to my license for grades five through nine, um, back when you could do that. And um, that was what I taught. When I was a teacher, I taught middle school English language arts mostly. I did have a few classes outside of that. Um, those were not my favorites, but that's okay. Um, I had mostly English language arts and then special education at the middle school level. And I also taught briefly at the high school level um, that was my first job. And then when I moved into administration, um, I've been a special ed director now for, this is my 11th year um, as a special education director. Um, I also am director of high ability and English language learners and all of that, but we I'm not licensed. Both have stuff. taught at the college level. Yes, we both have taught at the college level, her at AU and me at Ivy Tech. Um, so we both have that experience as well. Um, and like I said, most of my experiences as a director are obviously with pre-K all the way through 12, grades 12 plus, um, and with, um, you know, working with families and the financial side and the legal side of special education for that. Okay, so we thought it would be super awkward because we kind of want to tell what we geek out about. Um, so that you guys can, you know, know that those are kind of our areas of main, main expertise. Not that we don't know about other stuff. It's just this is the stuff we really geek out about. But then we were like, it's going to be really awkward to talk about that about ourselves. So we decided Betsy's going to tell you what I geek out about and I'm going to tell you what she geeks out about. Okay? All right. I'm going to start right. with You're you. You're going to start. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, Jenny mentioned that she taught English. She definitely um, loves talking about and helping um, struggling readers and writers. And that would definitely be an area I feel like that she's a lot of books in that area uh, mm -hmm. on her shelf. I know yeah, that. that's for sure. Um, and um, something um, that I think probably takes up most of our conversations um, <laughs> anymore. Is, yes, education policy and advocacy. Jenny, um, the past three years, has gone to D.C. Uh, to lobby, and so um, that is, like I said, definitely something that comes into every conversation, and who I go to when I have questions about well, that. There you go. Yeah. Um, and um, one other area would be um, working with our families in um, just family outreach. And she's very good at finding like win-wins um, in conferences and just any type of situation, um, looking at what's best for the child and um, maybe looking at like explaining things so that everybody understands. Right. And that um, because it's never about I'm going to get what I want. It's mm -mm. how it can we do what's be that? best like, for... I, for the life of me, 
after this many years in education, I've never been able to figure out why a parent would want to fight with the school and why the school would want to fight with the parent. Like I said, I don't think anybody really wants to, but I don't think there's a lot of uh, stuff out there about how to de-escalate that. So we may end up spending some time talking about that <laughs> at some point too. So that is, um, and these are just, um, like this is just, well, surface. I'm going to add right. one that's not on here. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what as a teacher, because uh, Jenny is my boss, I guess, um, in a way, she's always been really good at helping us find resources. Um, hey, I need help with this. I have this situation. You know, she... If she can't, find, if I can't find it and she can't find it, she can find somebody who, who right. can. Yeah. So she's really good about, like I said, advocacy. So maybe advocating for what um, her teachers need mm -hmm. within the school. And so that's something that um, I've never been shy about saying what I <laughs> what I want or need. <laughs> no joke. Um, okay, so now with Betsy, her um, thing she geeks out about number one above all else is behavior modification. Um, if there's behavior that needs conquering, Betsy usually knows some place to start. Um, whether it's finding how, what that child finds rewarding, whether it's finding a replacement behavior for the awful one that we want to get rid of. Um, the awful behavior. Yeah, awful behavior, not awful <laughs> child. There's no awful children. They're just, they're behaviors. Sorry, I knew what yeah. you meant, but I wanted no, to make yeah, sure. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a hundred here. Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, but no, so just finding, you know, ways for the behaviors we don't want to see to go away while we bring in behaviors we do want to see. That's because in her. learning cannot start happening until, until behaviors yep. are taken care of. That, what she said. Um, so, um, second, and these two, two things kind of work together. Um, it's number one, I think her finding what the child can do. What's their strength? What are, what are they able to do? And then let's work with that. How can we use that to help them learn? And along those same lines, then being able to match reading instruction to different kids. Um, not every kid learns to read the same way. And she's really good about telling me, yeah, I've tried this, this, and this. They don't learn that way. We got to try this. So um, those are some other um, topics we might actually delve into at some point. Um, about how do you know how your child learns best or how do you how do you decide when it's time to switch to a different reading intervention so but I think those are two big things she's done so much research with she I don't know how many times she's come to me saying okay we've done this 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 and this this kid's still not reading I got to find something else you know and so we you know we, we just keep we keep working um, and one thing that you know I just think to point out that we both I think just it's an understood between us is that in special education, we just have to be okay with failing. We do because we do it all the time. I like, fail every every day. day, and it's not that we're not doing a good job or we're not trying our hardest. It's just that not every kid learns the same way every day. So what we have to do is we try something, and then we um, if that doesn't work, we try something else. If that doesn't work, we try something else. So anytime I talk to pre-service teachers, I'm always telling them. The one thing you just have to remember is get your brain ready for the fact that you're going to fail constantly. Well, and I like to say... And then when you have that win, it's oh, like, ah! you're so excited. <laughs> um, definitely celebrate it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you have it, for example, like I, um, like I said, I teach in a self-contained class right now. Not all of my students are readers yet. And that's the important word, yet. Mm -hmm. Because I think all kids can do that. All kids... Um, it's just, you have to put that yet behind anything that you're working on or anything. Sorry, that my doing. cat is like totally trying to get out of the room while we're on this live right now. And it's hilarious. Sorry, I'm going to let him out and I'll be right back. <laughs> Keep talking, Betsy. Well, I can't even talk about myself. I'm not going to. But anyways, yes, that's, um, that's my big one. Just always put yet at the end of anything. Like they can't do this yet because we will get there. Yeah, um, I like to end most of my things with that. We'll get there. We'll We're just get not there. there. That's right. Okay, so what we want to try to do is Thursdays. That's going to be our day. I think I'm just going to, we're going to put it on our calendar so that we don't forget. <laughs> 
because if it doesn't go on our calendars, that doesn't get happen. Nope. So we're putting it on our calendars that every Thursday, sometime between 3 and 4 p.m., um, that's going to be the days that we try to go live. Hey, girl. Hey, Lindsay. Um, and we're going to have a topic for each time. And um, like I said, people that can jump on live, great, and participate in the conversation. Um, and people that can't definitely watch on the, watch us on the replay and put in your input. We'll be mm -hmm. looking back at those, trying to answer any questions. Well, maybe it's a great place for conversation. Hey, Brittany. Um, because guys, we have some awesome um, resources that have liked and joined, and that have already commented and said, you know, mm -hmm. hey, this is awesome. This is great because this isn't going to be just about no us. We're um, gonna involve you. We just said. We one of our strengths is finding good resources. Like mm -hmm. that's I think so. This is gonna help you where our and, success uh, comes you from and me is both. We yes. we keep looking. We're always searching. Absolutely. Oh, and so. another cool thing. This we actually we just came up with this cool idea. Like right between when we oh. went live on my page and when we came here. I think I know what you're saying. Is that we are gonna interview people. We are thinking we might want to um, bring some people on camera with us from time to time to interview them about different things. We might go on location sometimes. We thought of a few of those that might be kind of cool mm -hmm. to do, like maybe Erskine Green or maybe um, an occupational therapy clinic. Where, ah, <laughs> hey, so yeah, I, hey, Brittany, we could have us come to you, ma'am. We would interview you for one of our, our, our things. So, um, but something, yeah, well, and something else is Jenny always laughs at me that I go to the most random places and find the most random things. Like the dollar store is my place to find yeah. things for my classroom. And, um, so maybe we'll go there sometime we and I'll may. show you what we I may. use. We'll be like, here is the website <laughs> where you can buy this for $350 or, or <laughs> here at the dollar store, you can buy this and this and this and DIY it yeah. for 15 There you go. You go down every aisle at the dollar tree. <laughs> um, yes. Five below. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, well, something else we talked about, and maybe we could see if anybody has interest, is maybe we could meet somewhere together. Oh, yeah, together. we thought about we'd have some meetups. Um, a lot of the people are here in Muncie, and so maybe we could meet up and chat in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could do like so, a Panera Day or something. Yeah, that would be super fun. So, so um, yeah, so that's, that's what we're thinking. Um, next week, I am going to warn you already, the very first Thursday that we're going to try to do this, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> so Betsy's on her own next Thursday to do the, the broadcast. Um, yeah, definitely, Brittany. Well, we can do it at a different time for you, Brittany, whenever. We can always take a video during your during whatever, you however you want to do it, and then we can just post it later. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a live. Um, but, yeah. So next week, Br uh, Betsy's on her own because I'm going to be <laughs> driving between 3 and 4 o'clock. And, um, so yeah, uh, but then after that, I'll be back. Don't worry. And, but Bessie's going to have some awesome info for you next time, um, on a topic about behavior. So tune in and we love you guys so much. And like I said, share our page out, get people to like us. Um, definitely, um, just spread the word because we want this to be a huge community um, we, this isn't something that we're attempting to make money off of or anything like that. It's a free fan page. Um, we just want to help kids and, and do what we can, right? And, well, and I would say another, we talked about things we geek out on. We geek out on the conversation. The collaboration mm -hmm. is, um, yep. just where we learn just the trying most. Trying to analyze it and, mm -hmm. you know, like being devil's advocate sometimes for each other, that too. So mm -hmm. we welcome that kind of stuff for sure. But yeah, we will, you know, we're going to keep it civil. We're going to make sure, you know, it's not going to get super political on anybody. Like I said, if I bring in things about legislation or about something that's going on with um, the state or the federal level, um, I'm just going to give you the facts. You guys can make up your own minds. You're, you're intelligent. You've got college educations, most of you too. So um, I'm, like I said, we're not going to dwell on that piece of it. Um, and again, like I said, always disclaimer, this is not the opinions of our school corporation, just to Betsy Jenny. Yep. So, we um, will see you guys soon, okay? And feel free, anytime, comment, give us, send us messages with topics. There's a little button right on our page that says send a message. 
You can send us a message to, to ask about a question or a topic that you want to hear about, and we will definitely put that down. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>